What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back in the mix with another video for you guys. Hope everyone's doing great out there. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of those dark Atlanta Nardo Wick type trap beats. These are pretty fun beats to make, actually one of my favorite types to make. This is really like one of the styles that got me into producing to begin with. And they're pretty easy and straightforward to come up with, especially with the help of Captain Plugins, which I'm gonna be using today to aid me in my creation process. So with all that being said, let's get into this. All right, so today I did things a little bit differently. I actually started with Captain Melody Epic instead of Captain Chords. You know, we gotta switch it up at some point. And I selected the key of E flat minor and I have the BPM set to 154. It's a very fast paced, aggressive style. And using the pencil tool, I went ahead and created this very simple pattern that uses a lot of notes that are right next to each other. And this is a good technique to utilize when you're making these dark trap beats to create that sense of tension and kind of just those overall spooky vibes. When you can go up just like a half step, it, it really kind of helps set the mood as is the case here. But basically I just drew in this pattern. I didn't have to rely on the banks. I just know whatever I click in is gonna sound good together because Captain Melody ensures that everything is in the same key. So with that in mind, this is actually a great tool just to you know click in ideas. It's way faster than just doing it on your normal piano roll inside your DAW because you're locked into a key that makes sense. These types of beats utilize a lot of synth sounds more so than other subgenres of rap. And luckily, Captain Plugins Epic has a huge library of sounds and specifically lead synths. So I went through these. I actually found a ton that I liked that I thought would fit, but my favorite for this particular beat was the epic pluck preset so having said all of that this is what the pattern sounds like by itself we got that e flat just repeating every half bar essentially and then we got this super repetitive top melody and then an accent melody even an octave above that just to add some intricacy, but overall, very simple, very repetitive. That's kind of the key to these kinds of beats. From there, I added a simple EQ and just took out a ton of the low end because the 808 is gonna be hitting here eventually, so we wanna get rid of those frequencies. And I also added a second uh, melody component that takes up some of that low end as well, which I'll show momentarily. And then I also added some reverb, uh, just a, a very little bit uh, from this default plugin in Logic called Space Designer. You can also play with the reverb from within Captain Melody Epic in this case. So I also turned this up a tiny bit. I'm actually turning it up a little bit more. And so now with those plugins and this little sound design knob in place, this is what it sounds like now. It's a very slight difference, but you'll hear it. So just a little wider and also slightly hollower because we got no low end now. So from there, what I did was open up another instance of Captain Melody Epic and I exported the MIDI from the first Captain Melody that I created and moved it to the second one. So we have the same exact pattern playing, right? But then I pulled up Halftime, which is one of my favorite plugins ever. And basically I moved the loop up to eight bars and I turned the smooth knob all the way down to the left. And then from there, I added an EQ as well, took out some of the highs so it doesn't clash with the first melody. And then also some of the lows. So again, it doesn't clash with the 808, as I mentioned. So really 
This halftime plugin is a great way to get more out of the melodies that you create with Captain Melody Epic or anything else that you utilize because it ends up changing the sound and the dynamics of your melody to such a degree where it's completely unrecognizable from the original, but it still has like certain elements that make it sound similar and oftentimes it can really kind of complement your original melody and serve as a counter melody or something to that effect. Luckily, this is one of those times where it worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the melody. Now again, it's the same exact melody you just heard, just with the halftime and this different EQ on it. And this is what it sounds like. And now with the original melody with it, So like, this is perfect. Like that, I mean, what else does it need, <laughs> you know? So I was really happy with how that was sounding to the point where I didn't want to mess with it. These beats are relatively simple, especially with the drums too. Like the drums are super simple, super basic trap drums, which you'll see in a second. So the only other component that I added to this was a simple uh, choir hit, which I basically use in place of a crash or you know like an explosion or some kind of sound effect that you put at the beginning of every like four or eight bars so i just did that in the root note and this is what it sounds like yeah <laughs> simple and here it comes again that's it right and in context with the other melodies So, you know, it's just kind of there in the background, but just adds a little bit of like epicness to it, which is sort of a, a signature thing that I like to try to add to all of my beats, try to give it that epic cinematic vibe. And, you know, a couple choir hits can go a long way in that regard, hopefully. Now moving on to the drums. So as is customary with most of my beats, I keep the drums extremely simple, try to get some bounciness going, but always keep in mind the fact that the artist's vocals is the final instrument that you need to make room for. So I don't want too many crazy 808 rolls or, you know, 18,000 different perk elements. As tempting as it is to throw all that in there, oftentimes less is more. I've said it before, I'm saying it again, it's important. So based on that philosophy, these are the drums that I came up with. Yeah, you know, I mean, classic. We got the spins 808, we got the rack kick. If you've ever made trap music before, you probably are familiar with those sounds. We got the south side open hat hitting there. Got a very simple hi-hat pattern with just a few basic rolls. You know, that's all there is to it. It's not rocket science, y'all. So now that you've heard the drums, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this beat and then play it to you from the jump so you can hear everything in context as it was originally intended. And then I'm gonna get out of here. So let's do it. Okay, boom, I've gone ahead and arranged this beat, kept the arrangement very straightforward. I arranged most of my beats kind of in the same general way because I do sell beats online. And so I know that basically everything that I make is intended for an artist to rap on it. So I stick to a very specific formula that you hear in most modern rap and pop music. Basically, how it lays out is you got the intro here for eight bars. This is the hook right here. Then it goes into a verse. There's a breakdown or pre-chorus if you'd like. Boom, back to the chorus. Verse, breakdown, chorus, again, and outro. So that's roughly how I arrange all of my beats. Sometimes an artist will specify that they want something different or 
you know, they might not use the arrangement in the way that I had envisioned it, right? Like they might go straight into the verse and then suddenly like like this part becomes the hook. It depends, like, you know, there's there's no rhyme or reason to it, baby. We, we create it, so, you know, can't always fit it into a nice neat box and that's okay, we don't want that. So anyways, I've talked enough. You guys wanna hear the beat, so I'm gonna play it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon with more. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the Mixed and Key YouTube channel. We got tons more on the way, including short form content. So check that out as well. We got tons of gems. I'm Luke for Prez. That's all I got. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.